I know, right? I'm so guilty of hyping up Cole Caulfield in a way that, honestly, I don't regret. I think that the way this guy was hyped up based off of his NCAA season and his NTDP seasons and his run in the playoffs last year, I think it was all justified. Seeing how good Caulfield was back then and talking about how good he was going to be. And I still do think there's going to be a good future for this player. It's just that this year... This was kind of the worst year for everybody on the team, collectively, especially when you combine the factors of this team, just not really having that chemistry of Ducharme just being Ducharme, having all the pandemic surge through this team and having the injuries on top of that. This Canadians team has been kind of screwed. They're last in the league for a reason. Cole Caulfield is one of the many players on this team who is suffering because of it, and now... A lot of people like me are sitting back and saying, oh boy, all that hyping up that we did, how wrong were we in the short term? Now, obviously, I do get that Caulfield is probably going to be a better player next year, the year after that, two years after that. He's going to be fine, right? Long term, he's going to be an okay to great hockey player. He's not going to be as bad as he has been statistically this year for the rest of his career. But still... Feels kind of bad, doesn't it? Seeing the trajectory and seeing the development and seeing how everything has slowed down for players on the Canadians, which is why we're going over onto this article over here on RDS, talking about Cole Caulfield and what exactly he has done so far during the break and who he has been spending his time talking to. Now, full disclosure, this series of quotes comes from a piece that Caulfield did with the media was a press interview where he does it and it's translated into French but then it's translated back into English via the Google Translate machine because RDS is a French speaking website and I'm not really great with my French. Je comprends un peu de français, something like that. So I thought this would be a great opportunity with this article over here to just go over Cole Caulfield and everything that has gone on this season. Now, before we go over onto the interview, let's just set up the context right here. Cole Caulfield has seven points in 26 games played for the Canadians this season. It's not great compared to what everybody thought he would be able to do. Last season in the playoffs, he had 12 points in 20 games played and 52 points in 31 NCAA games. So you could definitely see where all the hype came from heading into this year. While some took advantage of the week-long break decreed by the Canadians to heal their wounds or reflect on their future with the Canadians organization, Cole Caulfield used the time off to speak with forward Jack Hughes of the New Jersey Devils. Caulfield, who was making his first full career NHL season, is nowhere near the success he had on his recall last year, just before the NHL playoffs. The 21-year-old American, who has only scored one goal in 26 games with the Canadians in 21-22, has been able to breathe a little bit for a week. It was nice to be able to enjoy a break like this in the middle of a season because it's rare for that to happen. I relaxed and put my two feet back on the ground. I've been thinking about the season so far and I've tried to set the record straight to be ready for the resumption of activities, Caulfield said by video conference on Monday. Again, he said it in English, it was translated into French, I'm translating it back into English so it might not be 100% accurate. He then talks about how he spoke with Jack Hughes, New Jersey Devils forward, and a guy that we have been talking about on this channel as an absolute maniac. He's still going out there producing like crazy with nine points in his last five games, and Hughes is a player that if you want to talk about slow starts, you want to talk about not really living up to the expectations, hey, Jack Hughes was kind of the epitome of that in his rookie season where he had 21 points in 61 games played. Now he is a point per game for the Devils, and it has only been getting better and better for Hughes. Jack and I talk a lot together, Cole Caulfield said, about this issue in particular. We saw how his first season went and how he took control and today he is a totally different player. Our approach is serious and for us, it's about staying the course, betting on what works and playing the right way without cheating. You have to work tirelessly and at a certain time, the leaps will be favorable said the Canadian's first choice, 15th overall in the 2019 draft. And you know, 
I really do like that approach. I really do like that these guys kind of have that mindset where it's like, okay, no shortcuts. You got to go out there, stay the course, bet on what works, and just believe in yourself. Hughes did that. And now, two years removed from the worst first overall rookie season in like 20 years, he is now a point per game. He is now signed to a contract that if he continues on this trajectory, looks like could be a steal of a contract long term. And Cole Caulfield being the guy that was kind of Hughes' right-hand man, literally at the NTGP, going out there and getting that similar trajectory and advice, it does make a very good picture. And I'm not lying about the right-hand man stuff. These two guys playing together at the NTGP were an absolutely phenomenal pairing to watch. I know everybody likes to say that Jack Hughes went out there and was the best player in the NTGP and all that, but Hughes, in several interviews, you gotta remember, before the draft, he was kind of like joking around saying, yeah, I only kind of got as many points as I did because I played with Caulfield and he was there to score all the pucks I was feeding him. Remember when they broke the record simultaneously for or I believe it was, oh man, I can't remember, was it Kane's point record and Phil Kessel's goal record, something like that, and they split the puck in half because it was a Caulfield goal on a Hughes assist or something like that. These two have a chemistry and a relationship that extends beyond even before these guys were drafted and playing in the league. And for Hughes to have that insight so early on in his career, already having a disappointing first year two seasons ago and really going out there and proving the haters wrong now... That level of expertise and guidance, I think, is something that can really benefit Cole Caulfield just with a little bit of a discussion over here. You don't want it to be too easy all the time, he says. I can learn from this season, and it will be very useful later in my career to have been able to deal with this kind of adversity. Take a look at some of the comments made by other people within the Canadians organization. This is what Ben Sherratt said. The important thing for a youngster, and it took me a long time to understand it, is that you have to take advantage of the wisdom of your teammates. I've been lucky to have guys like Wheeler and Ladd working hard every day to get better. Cole is already like that. He's constantly pushing himself. If he preserves in this direction, and he will, things will start to fall into place for him. Take a look at what Dominique Ducharme says. He is a passionate person, Cole is, who cares about the team. He wants to do well and to help the team as well. Yes, he would like to score more goals, but he's brilliant. He understands that he has to go through a whole learning process and that adversity is part of an NHL player's career. He wants to take on this challenge and tries to learn new things every day. He's maturing and starting to understand how to be successful in this league. Moreover, he indicated that an advice he offers to young players who must take a leap from the American University ranks to the NHL is to remain yourself and build on your strengths. You also have to be able to assess yourself and understand the league and your opponents. And yeah, strengths? Cole Caulfield's biggest strength by far was his ability to score goals. Not his shot, not the shooting ability per se, it's a little bit of a difference when you discuss a player, okay, he's a good goal scorer versus, oh, he's got a great shot. Goal scoring encompasses the entire package. It's deking, it's positioning, it's one-on-one -on -one skill assessment versus players and other goaltenders. Caulfield exceeded at all of those things. His off-puck instincts, where to go, on the puck, where he would go to open up lanes and all that, his goal scoring ability was just so, so pristine. And we saw that in the playoffs last year. You remember the few goals that he scored that were absolute highlight reel goals? The one against Vegas, in my opinion, is the one where he really came out to shine, where he takes the puck on the right side on the rush, tips it by the Vegas defender, comes in on goal, and absolutely roofs it on laner. That's kind of what I think about when I think about Cole Caulfield and the goal-scoring ability that he has. And yeah, he only has one goal this year in 26 games. It's definitely been a very bad season comparative to other years for Cole Caulfield and the way that he has been developing as a goal scorer. And I definitely do think that the best years are yet to come, where Caulfield does maybe get 20 goals next season and 30 goals the year after that, maybe 40, 45 goals in his prime. It's just now, that's not time yet. Now... It's everybody on the Canadians kind of not doing as well as they could be because the team isn't healthy, both in terms of injuries and in terms of the virus. So 
all we got to do is just wait and see, man. And Caulfield getting advice from Jack Hughes, somebody who has been there before, is probably the best person he could be getting advice from at this moment. So talk to me in the comments. What do you think about Cole Caulfield and his season so far? If you're a Canadiens fan, when do you think things will turn around? Is it next year, the year after that, two years after that? When do you think we will see the best version of Caulfield in this league? Let me know in the comments all your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.